Awesome, awesome. Thank you, audio video team. Thank you to all of our amazing volunteers who serve this ministry in so many wonderful ways. Thank you for being sacred service to us. Let's give them all a big hand. Okay, so breathe. Christmas is eight days away. Yeah. So let's just breathe through these next eight days <laughs> and remember the reason for the season, okay? God is good all the time. I do want to point out this gorgeous Christmas tree that we have. It is magnificent, isn't it? I am grateful to the wonderful, wonderful volunteers who work so hard to make all of this beauty happen for us. And I want to invite you after service, feel free to come up and use it as a photo op. You know, take photos with your family, your friends, take selfies if you want. <laughs> um, feel free to tag UCCL, but enjoy. It is just um, a really beautiful, beautiful tree that we have and we are so grateful, so grateful. God is good all the time. Thank you. So what do you call Santa when he's on a break? A Santa pause. So where does Santa stay on vacation? A ho, ho, ho hotel. <laughs> and where do reindeer go when they lose a tail? A retail store. Where's my drummer? <laughs> God is good. God is love. Oh, you are so smart. You just pick it up like all the time. Yay, we got to do that one. <laughs> Thank you, Martha. Awesome, awesome. Well, the love of God is real. The love of God is real. But it needs a vehicle in which to express. And guess what? The vehicle of God's love to express in this world is you. Oh, yeah, it's true. It's you. Ah, let's say our affirmation. I am open and receptive to the love of God. One more time like we really mean it. I am open and receptive to the love of God. There you are. Thank you. So I'm going to begin by just recapping again the defin unity's definition of Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ. Jesus is the name of the man that lived over 2,000 years ago. Christ was not his last name. They didn't do last names per se back then. It was Jesus of Nazareth or John the Baptist, or son of Alphaeus, you know, James, son of Alphaeus. So Christ was not his last name. Christ is the name of that spark of the divine that lives in each and every one of us. So we have the man that lived over 2,000 years ago, Jesus. We have Christ, the spark of the divine that lives in each one of us. And then we have Jesus Christ, who is the man that lived over 2,000 years ago that discovered that spark of the divine within him, and he, spark, he, he took that spark and he fanned it into a flame, and he lived from his Christ essence. Yeah. And he said, these things I do, you shall do, and greater still. If you believe. you believe, right, amen, amen. God is good all the time. So today is the third Sunday of Advent, and we celebrate love. <sighs> Remember, Advent means coming or the arrival of. It is not that we are waiting on the Christ presence to arrive, it's the other way around. The Christ's presence is waiting for us, for our own inner awareness to recognize the divinity within us. And with that awareness, we open a way for the imprisoned splendor of the Christ within to shine forth. 
So to clarify, Advent means the coming or the arrival of our own inner awareness that the Christ presence lives in us. The Bible says, Christ in you, your hope of glory. Christ in you, your hope of glory. God is good. God is love. You are smart. Really smart. <laughs> so, there's no place like home for the holidays. It's an old Christmas holiday tune. You know it, right? Many of you know it? Oh, there's no place like home for the holidays. Because no matter how far away you roam, if you want to be happy in a million ways for the holidays, you can't beat home, sweet home. Thank you. You know, as I reflect back on Christmas's past, I realize that we typically made three choices on how to spend the holidays. Some years we were on the road going home for Christmas. Other years we chose to stay home and spend the holiday in a quiet kind of way, creating our own Christmas memories together. And some years our choice was to share our home and the holidays with family and friends. And no matter our choice of going home, staying home, or sharing our home, we were always at home in our hearts. The old adage fits here, home is where the heart is. Home, sweet home. From a metaphysical perspective, home is our Christ center. The spark of the divine that lives in us that Christ essence. So how do we use this concept, there's no place like home for the holidays, to transform our Christmas experience? First, we go home. Going home by just scheduling time every day to go into the silence and get ourselves connected with the divine presence of God. The busier we are, the more people will be around, the more important it is to schedule that time. When we start our day with prayer and meditation, the whole day just goes better. Don't you notice that? So make sure you go home regularly. On rather challenging days, go home a lot. <laughs> For your Christ essence is your connection with God. And the Bible says God is your comfort, your fortress, your strength to move through any challenge. And when it says fortress, it means that safe place where you're protected. God is your comfort, your safe place your strength to move through any challenge. Number two, stay home. Stay home. Keep centered and focused as you move through this busy season. The key here is to remember who you really are. When you feel yourself getting upset or tired or irritated, lonely, hurt, stressed, whatever, just stop. Take a breath. You can say out loud or silently to yourself whatever is appropriate. Maybe wherever I am, God is and all is well. Or affirm the three simple words I shared with you last week that Jesus said, peace be still. Just as his words calmed the waves and quieted the winds of the storm, these words can calm our emotional turmoil and bring us back to center. Remember, you are God, expressing God at the point of you. Any outer appearance has no effect on you. 
Other people's attitudes have no effect on you, but no one can steal your joy unless you give them that power. Quicken your 12 powers of love and imagination, power, love, imagination, power, wisdom, (laughs) um, understanding, zeal, elimination, faith, order, will, life. So (laughs) they come in a different order each time. I'm like, okay, Um, probably the ones I need to work on most come first. (laughs) So as as we quicken these 12 powers within us, um, they're also known as faculties of mind. Um, it helps us to really connect through the holiday season and every day throughout the new year. Remember, great things are in store in 2024. Thank you. Okay, so third one. Share your home. Once you are totally connected with the Christ of you, guess what? Your love and light just shines, shines, shines. You see the divinity in each person that you come in contact with. The rude sales clerk at the store. You behold the Christ in her and realize how weary she is and how rudely she's probably been treated by other customers and you share a smile with her and you change her day. Maybe it's the driver who cuts you off in traffic. You feel compassion and send him light and love. Your friends, your family members who seem to have forgotten you in the midst of their busy schedules. You come from that place of understanding and love and you surround them with the light and love of God. And you take the initiative to ask for what your heart is telling you you need. Sharing your home means sharing the Christ spirit with everyone and taking responsibility to be the one who stays centered and reflects love and light to everyone else. I'm going to say that again because the ego likes to take you out when I say that. (laughs) Okay? Sharing your home means sharing your Christ spirit with everyone and taking responsibility to be the one who stays centered and reflects love and light to everyone else. Yes. It means not taking things personally, giving people the benefit of the doubt, extending that extra courtesy. It means living the principles that we believe in. God is good. God is love. So I have a little example for you. It comes from Pat Allen from Larchmont, Larchmont, New York. Pat shared how she had been going through a particularly different, difficult time in her life. One of those dark night of the soul times. It was December, but she couldn't shake her depression and her loneliness and her fear. And on top of everything emotional that was going on in her life, her car had been broken into and the few gifts that she had already bought were stolen. She was out re-shopping and even the Christmas music made tears come to her eyes. Her emotions were on edge and she couldn't stop crying. And as she wandered the aisle, she suddenly caught sight of this big white stuffed teddy bear and he seemed to reach out and and kind of embrace her with his warmth and love and she grabbed the bear from the shelf and she hugged it and she stood in the checkout line just sobbing and hugging that bear and the man in front of her turned and asked her if she was all right and she explained that everything in her life was going wrong and then I saw this bear and I reached it reached out to me and I and I hugged it and I'm I'm buying it for myself to cheer myself up. The cashier finished ringing up the man's order and said, will that be all? And he said, no, please add that bear. And then he turned to Pat and he said, I just want you to know that good things do still happen. 
he smiled and said, Merry Christmas, and he was gone. According to Pat, that was a transformational moment in her life. A stranger was present to her and gave her hope. That happened almost 30 years ago. But Pat still carries on that tradition of the white bear. Whenever her friends or family members are going through a tough time, she buys a white bear and gives it to them and shares her story, letting them know that good things do still happen. Hmm. This is the message of hope we can share with others when we open ourselves up to spirit and let our light shine. You never know what someone is going through, and your smile, kind word, or deed could be the defining moment that changes their life. It is the gift that you give that comes from the heart, from your home. So this Christmas, make the conscious decision to go home, starting each day connecting with spirit. Stay home. Maintain that beautiful, incredible inner peace that comes from standing in the truth of who you are and let your love shine through. And three, share your home by opening your heart center and letting your love and Christ's light shine to each and every person you have the opportunity to be with this holiday season. Today and every day, Let's put all three choices into effect immediately. And as you do, the words of the familiar song, there's no place like home for the holidays, take on a deeper, richer meaning. If you really want to celebrate the birth of the Christ this Christmas, go home, stay home, Share your home. The Christ essence awaits you and is ready to welcome your arrival anytime you are. Let's say our affirmation for today. I am open and receptive to the love of God. Together, I am open and receptive to the love of God. The love of God is real. I invite you today and every day to allow the love and light of the Christ's essence to shine on. Holy love, shine on. I want to personally invite you to join us next Sunday for our candle lighting service, which this year will be at 10.30 a.m. Christmas Eve. We, it's a beautiful, beautiful service that incorporates Unity's 12 powers, also known as our 12 faculties of mind. And we make use of Unity co-founder Charles Fillmore's brilliance as he connected the 12 powers with the 12 disciples. So join us next Sunday, Christmas Eve at 10.30 a.m. I think you'll like it. In closing, your mission should you choose to accept it, is to learn to live in love with yourself. Be home here in the heart. Tap into the Christ presence that awaits you. Divine love, that's who you are. Shine on, beloved. You are holy, sacred love. Hmm. Let's take that thought with us as we prepare for meditation. So I invite you to relax right where you are. Let the chair support you. Feel your feet on the floor. Relax your shoulders. Close your eyes if you'd like. And just be here now. as we sing together. As I center in love, I align with God. As I center in love, I align with God. 
as I center in love, I align with God. As I center in love, I align with God, with God, with God. As I center in As I center in love, I align with God. I invite you to let go of any outer distractions and focus within. Gently breathing, God is. Slowly breathing out, I am. God is. I am. And I invite you to allow my words to be the words of your heart and mind as we share this brief time of prayer and meditation together. Thank you, God, for this day and the opportunity to be your love and light in this world. Thank you, God, for reminding me that I can go home any moment I choose. Kind of like Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. Just have to choose it. Thank you, God, for reminding me that it's important to continue my spiritual practices that helps me to stay home in the divine presence of the Christ, the truth of who I am. And thank you, God, for reminding me to share my home. Share my love and my light and my Christ essence with all I come in contact with. Thank you, God, for today's daily word, reminding me that I am the hands and the feet of God, the eyes, the ears, and the word of God that when I come from my Christ essence, I'm able to shine my love and light to all who are around me. And for some, that may be a very defining moment in their life. And I thank you, God, for those people who have been shining lights of God's love and light and energy and presence for me in times when I have slipped into the lower energy realm. And their bright light reminds me, choose again. Choose again and rise up into the Christ light and love that I am. So I invite you to take another gentle breath in and slowly release it. And go deeper within 
to that sacred place within you where you connect with the divine presence of God. And I invite you to listen there for the still, small voice of God as God speaks just to you in the silence. In the silence. Thank you, God, for reminding me that you created me in the love, in the light, in the glory. And that I can choose any time I want to rise into that Christ essence that I am. and be an expression of your love in this world. Holy love. Sacred love. Shine on. Shine on. And we say thank you, sweet, sweet spirit. And so it is. Amen. As I center in love, I align with God. As I center in love, I align with God. As I center in love, I align with God, with God. the spirit huh inside feel that moving and God with us and around us in the presence thank you thank you all thank you for the message uh, Reverend Yvonne Christ within God we have it all don't we we have it all I know there is something in this service that's fed you, fed you spiritually as it did me and I invite you to give to LUCC from the generosity of that spirit of the divine from within you. You can visit our website, Snail Mail. And those of you who have opted to use debit and credit card, Helen will be in the uh, lobby and will, uh, after the service, help you with that. And thank you for those who have set up that reoccurring tithe. We appreciate your giving as you are traveling or at home or doing things uh, that you need to do. So we appreciate that, and uh, we appreciate all of you that join in that. Um, as we open our hearts to give, I invite you to take that gift that you have to share. Fill it with the love in your heart. Just take a moment and, and just feel that love and that generosity of spirit. That goodness that was in us, that we give and we are. Fill it with the love of your heart and your mind and affirm with me the offertory blessing today. Together, divine love flowing through me, 
It says, and multiplies all that I have, all that I give, and all that I receive. Thank you. Richly blessed. We are richly blessed. Thank you, God. Re just a few reminders of some of the wonderful things that are coming up. The Gathering of the Few, the workshop, that um, three-book uh, week study starting January um, 17th on Wednesday. Reverend Yvonne is going to do that, and this book is written by Jim Rosemergy. So a very powerful a unity minister, a very powerful teacher and author, so don't miss that. Uh, join Reverend Yvonne for the Unity Basics on Sunday, January the 14th, noon to 2. And then the Whitestone service will be uh, Sunday, January the 7th at 1030. You are invited to our candlelighting Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve burning bowl services on Sunday, December the 24th, and Sunday, uh, December the 31st at 10. 30 a.m. on Sunday morning. 